Welcome to Comic Con. You won't be very disappointed. Re intrepid. <laughs> it worked. See you yeah. out of there. Who are you? Batman. Right now, I'm at Amazing Comic Con Aloha, and you are watching The Last Outpost Presents. Welcome to Amazing Comic Con Honolulu 2019. This year we have not one, but two superhero movies featuring a hero named Captain Marvel. Now, DC Comics no longer has the trademark to the name Captain Marvel, so they're calling the hero Shazam. However, there's been some controversy because a little boy that becomes a grown-up superhero still behaves like a little boy. Is that the right way to portray this hero? Because that wasn't what it was like back in the old days, or was it? Let's see what the fans have to say about that. What would you do as a kid? It's like Superman, it's like Superman, but uh, with a, a, a lightning strike. You know, some people think that when this boy says Shazam and he becomes a grown-up, right? He shouldn't be acting like a child. He should be mature. He should be acting like a grown-up. How do you feel about that? Yo, baby. He shouldn't be acting like a kid and be so mature. He should be more like a grown-up than more mature. Of course he should. Of course he, he should. He should definitely be a kid. Because Absolutely. he wouldn't have had the time to mature. He'd still be a child. But the wisdom of Solomon. Still, you didn't experience the mature. That makes him very smart. Doesn't mean he's uh, mature. And that's what makes him different from I know Superman. I a lot of people who are still immature and smart. <laughs> they actually call him Captain Marvel anymore. He's just Shazam. But I'm looking forward to the movie. I think the casting is good. You know, with Zachary Levi, uh, I'm excited about that. And I think it's going to be like a fun and funny film. I also think DC in general is, is on the right path now with their films, just trying to make each individual film serve the, the character. Uh, as strongly as possible. In more recent years, what people like more is, is the idea of the kid and the adult body. Look at uh, Tom Hanks in Big. You know, that one, everyone loves that film. The idea of uh, like certain, certain people not growing up in, in itself, but the idea of um, uh, a kid being like super powered, but still having like, what would you do if he had superpowers? And be I've been a Shazam fan since I was uh, real young, probably second grade. That's when I first discovered him. I was wondering why there was a Superman with a lightning bolt on his chest. Uh, and so, you know, I grew up knowing the story about Shazam. But I like the idea that, uh, you know, a boy, you know, kind of like Spider-Man, develops these superhero powers and has to be mature enough to make the decisions to use them in the right way possible. This is going to be more fun. He can kind of explore and figure out what he's, what kind of powers he has. And it's kind of an exciting way to kind of learn about being a superhero. And the comics, you know, stood the test of time. You know, it's, you know, back from... Uh, you know, the early early days of when it first came out, even to now. I mean, it's had TV shows and it's had, you know, you, you had uh, you know, a whole family of Shazam characters. I love Zachary Levi. I think Zachary Levi is an amazing character. He's uh, a great example to, you know, to kids who uh, you know, love his characters. I love Chuck. Chuck was one of my favorite shows uh, when it first came out. It still is. I, I own all the seasons. Um, the fact that he's gotten in uh, impeccable shape for this role and, uh, you know, he, he pulls off the whole, uh, you know, the character I, I'm trying to, you know, develop into this superhero that I'm, I've become, you know. I, I think we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Honestly, it's too soon for um, people to be critiquing it, like, so harshly. Um, keep an open mind, right? 